Review, too long. Too sad. Good acting. Welcome to Cinemascope Reviews. Join us for insightful critiques and in-depth analysis of films, ranging from indie darlings to epic blockbusters. Are movies your passion? Subscribe and dive into the conversation below. This time, let's look at reviews of The Holdovers. In The Holdovers, a group of students and teachers spend Christmas break at a 1970s New England prep school, forming unexpected bonds. Paul Giamatti stars in this character-driven drama that promises a blend of humor and poignancy. Review number 1, 70s Aesthetic Revival With meticulous attention to period detail, The Holdovers revives the early 70s with finesse, supported by strong performances and a well-crafted script. The film's uniqueness in the current cinematic landscape suggests a theatrical viewing, underscoring that compelling storytelling doesn't require blockbuster budgets. Review number 2, Immersive Performances in The Holdovers, Paul Giamatti exemplifies dedication to character, fully embodying his role and anchoring the film with his performance. The supporting cast, including a promising young actor, contributes to a narrative that's well-crafted, though its contemplative tempo may not resonate with all audiences. Despite this, the film's quality suggests it could garner critical acclaim, potentially earning nominations for its craft and performances. Review number 3, Dramatic Misfire the Holdovers attempts to explore the tension between privileged education and the shaping of responsible adults but is hampered by a screenplay that fails to captivate. The performances and direction don't rise to the occasion, resulting in a film that feels laborious rather than comedic or touching. It is a narrative that struggles to find its emotional core, leaving the audience disconnected and indifferent to the characters' plights. Review number 4, Retro Cinematic Homage the Holdover stands as a tribute to 70s cinema, with Alexander Payne skillfully blending nostalgia with a fresh take. The film's familiar story is elevated by the character's engaging path to connection, offering a charming and entertaining nod to classic filmmaking. It aims to attract audiences who value both authenticity and innovation. Review number 5, Intellectual Wit and Warmth While The Holdover shies away from slapstick, it finds humor in intellectual wit and moments of genuine warmth. The film's length could be trimmed, but the performances, particularly from the leads, provide a solid foundation. The younger cast adds to the entertainment value, making for a film that, while not compelling enough for a second viewing, avoids being a chore to sit through. Review number 6, Wholesome Storytelling Stripped of high-octane action, The Holdovers offers a narrative rich in character and story without relying on the crutches of modern cinema. The writing and performances breathe life into a simple tale, creating a heartfelt diversion that ensnares the viewer's empathy and imagination. The film's ability to draw the audience into its world is its greatest strength, making for an endearing and engaging watch. Review number 7, Artistic Cinematic Journey The film offers an authentic cinematic experience, taking the audience on an emotional roller coaster that is both evocative and visually nostalgic. This film is recommended for those seeking artistry and emotional depth, as it captures a warmth reminiscent of vintage film, complete with the familiar crackle and pop that characterizes old celluloid. Review number 8, Dramatic Discovery The movie excels in its portrayal of self-discovery, supported by commendable acting and direction. The settings and scenes complement the narrative's emotional depth, though the film structure would benefit from tighter editing to eliminate unnecessary scenes. Nevertheless, it stands as a delightful mix of drama and humor. Review number 9, Subdued Comedy Though The Holdover sprinkles in humor, the movie's rhythm seems offbeat, possibly a deliberate nod to 70s cinema's pace but resulting in a dissonant viewing experience. Dominic Sessa's performance as the lead is met with skepticism, and while the film's vintage style is appealing, it fails to leave a lasting impression. The film aspires to recapture the glory of a bygone era but falls short in execution, leaving a hunger for better works that can deliver on both style and substance. Review number 10, Air Authentic Touches The film faithfully replicates the 1970s cinematic feel, from its visuals to its soundtrack. While it showcases some touching moments and commendable performances, the characters fail to connect with the audience, leading to a sense of detachment. The film's inability to engage on a deeper level suggests that appreciation may be limited to those with a fondness for the director's previous works or the era depicted. Review number 11, Poetic Intensity 
Invoking Dead Poets Society, The Holdovers stands out with powerful performances and a storyline that pulls viewers deeply into the characters' lives. The delivery of dialogue is sharp and impactful, reminiscent of theatrical gravitas, making the film an impressive display of talent and narrative power. Review number 12, Nostalgic Appreciation. The Holdovers resonates with those who hold a fondness for earlier cinematic times. It's a film that successfully portrays the nuanced interaction between characters from diverse backgrounds, confronting issues of loneliness and class. The actors navigate the script with prowess, offering a glimpse into a past era that will especially appeal to an older audience who can indulge in the nostalgia of the period. Review number 13, Multifaceted Character Study. The film presents a tapestry of stories, each distinct and satisfying. Humor and drama are interwoven, creating moments of both laughter and tears. Paul Giamatti shines with a performance that balances wit with a touch of anger, captivating the audience's attention and drawing acclaim for his quick repartee. Each character's journey is engaging, provoking both laughter and applause for their humanly portrayed stories. Review number 14, Mainstream Convergence. Alexander Payne's The Holdovers veers towards mainstream cinema, contrasting with his reputation for eschewing typical Hollywood narratives. The film presents an interesting premise with well-defined characters but succumbs to conventional storytelling tropes. Despite this, it remains engaging and is perfect for a casual movie night, even if it doesn't reach the heights of Payne's more acclaimed works. Review number 15, Unlikely Bonds. This heartwarming film depicts unlikely connections formed under adverse conditions. Featuring a stellar cast led by Paul Giamatti, the story revolves around outcast students and faculty during the Christmas holidays at a New England prep school. As they confront their differences and commonalities, the film navigates through themes of acceptance and understanding, making for an emotionally rich and worthwhile watch. Review number 16, Holiday Heartwarmer. The Holdovers is praised for its heartfelt and wholesome storytelling, likened to a classic film from the 70s. It's a cozy, funny, and touching narrative that celebrates the bonds formed between a teacher and his student, exuding the pure joy and bittersweetness of overcoming adversities together. With performances that bring depth to their roles, the film is lauded as a return to form for Alexander Payne and stands as one of the year's best holiday films. Review number 17, Stylistic Tribute with Flaws The Holdovers sets out to mimic the style of late 60s and early 70s cinema, achieving a look that's authentic to the era. However, the film's preoccupation with aesthetics comes at the cost of character development and emotional engagement, rendering the narrative somewhat hollow and lacking a clear purpose beyond its stylistic goals. Review number 18, Melancholic Slow Burn. This film is a slow-burning narrative that captures the melancholic spirit of Christmas and the gradual bond between a student and teacher. While its deliberate pace may alienate some viewers, it eventually rewards the patient with a heartwarming conclusion. Paul Giamatti's performance, coupled with Alexander Payne's direction, leaves viewers with a lasting warmth, making it a valuable addition to holiday cinema despite its slower moments. Review number 19, Seasonal Bittersweet Comedy. Billed as the potential bittersweet comedy of the season, The Holdovers delivers a rich screenplay and a Christmas atmosphere tinged with nostalgia. The film is noted for its deep character development and the standout performance of Paul Giamatti, whose presence elevates the movie to more than just a seasonal watch. The following the final review. Review number 20, Cinematic Disappointment. Despite the director's acclaimed filmography, The Holdovers disappoints with its flawed execution. Dominic Sessa's performance is criticized for lacking subtlety, and the cinematography is called out for its inability to convey emotion effectively. The film's editing choices further detract from the experience, leading to a bewildering watch that falls short of the expectations set by Alexander Payne's previous successes. That concludes our reviews. Thanks for tuning in to our movie review. Remember, every film has layers and secrets waiting to be discovered, and here at Cinemascope Reviews, we're all about uncovering those treasures. If you enjoyed our take on the holdovers and want more deep dives into your favorite films, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join our community of movie enthusiasts, share your own insights, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, keep loving movies, and we'll be back with another review soon. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Happy watching!